I'm Sophie Pipe and I'm the Seagrass Project Officer for Corn Wildlife Trust and I'm leading the Seeding Change Together project supported by Sea Salt. We're on the Fowler Nature Reserve at the moment which is a Corn Wildlife Trust Nature Reserve which is where we are holding our seagrass restoration trials this year. When we harvest our seeds they're within um, an air pocket within the plant's leaf which is where the seeds are stored and over time this tissue then rots down which is what releases the seeds. So we're putting our seeds into our mud mix, going to our hessian bags. The mud mix is made up of the top layer of our sediment from our mud flats. We use this because it's got lots of oxygen in it, it's nice and aerated which helps our seeds. Um, we're going to be planting our hessian bags a metre between one another. The reason we do this is because hopefully when the seeds establish, and the roots and the rhizomes will spread across a metre so we're hoping that they'll start to connect with one another to form a meadow. So when we come to planting we dig a little bit down, uh, we don't have to be digging too deep because further down we go the less oxygen there is. We then place our bags upside down to anchor them into the soil and we put around a centimetre of sediment from the mudflats on top of them to bury them. We're using our very lovely body boards and we use this to mitigate any disturbance on our beds here. We've selected this area because there is a small amount of seagrass present but not enough for the bed to be stable so that's why we're trying to give it a helping hand. Now is a bit of a waiting game, we hope to see our shoots appear in the late spring, early summer. <laughs>